Hi, welcome to mycrossbitpaper.com. Now, let me discuss about the project title of project title. So, uh, the project title is the indicator surface draft index as an indicator for agricultural drought monitoring theory validation and application in Middle Eastern China. The modified title for this process is a machine learning perspective for predicting agricultural droughts. Actually, this the main objective of this process is to we are going to predict predict the agricultural droughts in the mid-eastern China areas by using the rainfall perci precipitation rates overall during the years of 2010 to 2014 years. In this we are going to predict the um, agricultural droughts by using a machine learning perspective means we are going to predict the agricultural results by using an algorithm called Navy Bayes classifier. So this is the main objective of the process. Now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. Normally draft affects a large number of peoples and cause more losses to society compared to other natural disasters. China is a draft disaster prone country. So the frequent occurrences of draft poses an increasing severe threat to the Chinese agriculture productions. So draft also has very complex phenomenon that is difficult to accurately quantify because it's immense spatial and temporal variability. In the existing system, implement the ISTA model construction for evaluating the accuracy and the effectiveness. This model application using a variety of methods and data, there is still some work to be done in our future results because of the complex spatial and temporal characteristics of draft. So to overcome this limitation, it assesses performance of measuring the drought by using the spatial and temporal characteristics of information. We collect the data set from different regions and also collect the time varying information like that. In this, we predict the draft conditions by using the supervised learning mechanism. It can be implemented by using the Bayesian supervised machine learning algorithm. Through this, we can achieve the accuracy and performance and also we can improve the performance and the effectiveness. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. So first our process starts with input selection. Our domain is data mining. So first we have to uh, select the input. Uh, so our input is a data set. After we choose a data set from the uh, file location, we have to pre-process the data set. After we pre-process the data set, pre-process is nothing but a data, data cleaning. So in this we have to uh, eliminate the unwanted symbols or unwanted values or uh, cleaning the unwanted values in the data set. That is called data set pre-processing. After the data set has been pre-processed, uh, we are going to, um, to classify the attributes in the data set. So here we are classifying the data set by using the attribute values such as by using the month-wise predictions. After that, we have to predict the drafts based on the new Bayes algorithm. New Bayes is normally the conditional probability process. After, uh, we have to predict the soil moisture level. Then, based upon the soil moisture and drafts, we have to predict the crop yields. After that, we have to evaluate the performance of existing and performance uh, existing and proposed system by using the time efficiency and then accuracy. So, this is the data flow diagram of our process. Now let me discuss about the complete demo of our process. First we have to run home.java. Just uh, right click and uh, run the file home.java. That home page will be displayed here. Uh, and our title is a machine learning perspective for predicting agricultural drops. Uh, after uh, run the uh, uh, homepage.java, then just click the frame. Just um, browse your input from your locations. Here we have a data set in imd.districtwise info data set CSV. So uh, this is the data set we are uh, going to use in our process. Uh, so this uh, in this data set we have um, attributes like uh, street and then district year 
then uh, rainfall rates of january to december then annual rainfall rate and total rainfall rates and soil moisture level and elevation level after uh, we get the uh, data set values we have to convert the data set into ar format uh, so after the csv file has been converted into the ar format in this we extract the data set um, formats like uh, attribute relationship format in this we have a relation name then attributes names and then uh, for a particular attribute we have a number of records like data that is extracted in our data after uh, extract the data uh, convert the data into the AR format ARF AF format we have to create the table in our database mm. table has been created after the table created we have to load the data into that table data has been extracted after that we have to view the data set from the database then I click extract here is the data set view from the database after the data set has been extracted we have to classify the data set based on the attributes so just click the classify so based on the um, districts uh, like that we are classifying the data sets after the classifying the data sets we have to cluster the values here we are clustering the values based on uh, rainfall rates uh, for year for year wise for 2004 january february march april here we group the districts based on the low rainfall rates september october november december then may june july august then if you are going to click for uh, may 2005 means you, you can get this some type of results so uh, here we are uh, predicting the raw rainfall rates districts during the year 2004 to 2010 after just click the next button here we are clustering the informations based on the annual rate so uh, based on the annual rate here we cluster the values after we cluster the values we are going to apply the new base algorithm here we are applying the new base algorithm p of a then p of a intersection b then here we are calculating the p of a conditional b values after that here we are uh, by using the bayesian values here we calculate the um, matrix value then information gain value then entropy values then gain values after that we here we are uh, classifying the districts and cluster values after that we predict the classifier values then here we aggregate the values based on the cluster and district levels so after that click next button then click result here we are have a uh, districts and here that uh, entropy values just click the draft affected regions so based on the some uh, ranges like low medium high ranges here we evaluate the results predict the results then just click the evaluate button here we display the graph <coughs> based on the draft affected regions in the districts so after that you have to, uh, uh, in the process we enhance the process by using soil moisture and uh, elevation levels by using these type of levels we are going to predict the crop yield productions so just click the crops and capacity here we have a crops and its capacity levels and then click next button then here we are calculating the for each district uh, and then we have we can get the total capacity of each district then if uh, if the capacity is 3.62 means we predict the crop yield levels of that level then districts then so based on that level we are what are the crops and then uh, the districts will be displayed here then click evaluate in this we evaluate the performance of existing system and proposed system by using the time taken <coughs> this is a complete demo of a process thank you for watching